Tell how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say checkmate. Namaste. Namaste. Grand Rising, Big Cat. Welcome to another divine day of cosmic insight. Whether you're here for tarot, numerology, or astrology, let's take a moment to center ourselves. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and tune into your feelings. some kind of an invite for a party a celebration okay it also the energy of the four is also some being blamed darling dears being blamed for something possibly in that circumstance or situation or something similar to it okay the energy of the eight darling dears you could be a life path eight or the number eight 17 or 26 will be highlighted over the next few days the number eight is representative of the letters H, Q and Z, as well as Saturn, which is ruled by Capricorn and Aquarius, as well as the letters P and F. It speaks about your responsibility, darling dears. You are a high achiever, a CEO. Your luckiest numbers will be two, four and eight. Your luckiest days will be um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Avoid the numbers three, seven and nine very ambitious style in dears and it also speaks about structures and limitations mm -hmm. okay you're going to be put in a position where you're going to be looked on in authority or looked up to darling dears admired by others it also speaks about a level of research that you've been involved in darling dears there's been a bit of a struggle whatever delays you've been going through it's about to change energy of the eight according to the loshu grid is it speaks about your wisdom um self-actualization self-knowledge darling dears and it also speaks about taking a rest recuperating from something or the rest after all of the hard work's done mm -hmm. okay the energy of the eight again speaks about you being in your power um it's telling you to Go big or go home, darling dears. It's time for you to expand your limits. It speaks of you being tested. You've been tested quite a lot, darling dears. It also speaks about blessings being on the way. Um, it's about you continuing to stay true to your passions because it's time for you to be prosperous in every way. The eighth house is about death as well as rebirth. Could be the rebirth of you, definite transformation. It speaks about um, your karma, but it also speaks about wounds, darling dears, wounds that had to be healed. You've also had a recent death of a, I'm hearing, sibling. Okay. 
So I just saw a picture of pallbearers. Um, the eighth house is also the house of inheritance, of um, um, wills, legacies, um, joint finances. It's known as the marriage house. It could be in the form of losses, as in, I don't know, alimony, child maintenance. But it also speaks about your your spiritual life, darling, dears. A light is being shone on your spiritual life, or it's because of spirit, why you managed to make it this far. Mm -hmm. The energy of the eighth house is also a reminder of things that you have to shed due to the karma that's attached to it. It's about you letting go. Okay. The energy of Saturn, darling, dears. Lean in, bestie. Lean in. It speaks of... um. Well, Saturn is the father of time, darling, dears. He creates the structure. Um, again, it comes with, with karma, darling, dears. But it also speaks about delays that will be deliberately put in your path. I told you, you was constantly being tested. But these tests were to make you better, not bitter, darling, dears. What you are about to achieve is going to keep you set, game, set and match into your old age. But... You can't believe that life is going to con continue to just be even, Stephen, going forward. You will still continue to have tests, darling, dears. But you'll be ready for them. Not only that, every test is a chance for growth. You may have been having issues with your, um, your teeth, your knees, your ears, your bones, your skin. Everything's about to turn around, darling, dears. Mm-hmm. Okay. According to the 48 laws of power, the energy of the number eight, darling dears, it's about you making people come to you. So you're not running down nothing, darling dears. Things are coming towards you. There will be opportunities being presented towards you, darling dears, but it's about letting go of a way of thinking, of a way of being. Mm hmm. Okay. Because what's coming to mind. Um, is Proverbs twenty six eleven? Yes. As a fool returns to vomit. No, as no, it's not as a fool. It's as a dog returns to vomit. A fool will, will return to, to his folly. This is a reminder for some not to revisit past relationships, friendships, whatever that ship ship was, darling dears. It's about letting it go wholeheartedly. Because otherwise you'll be caught up in being a victim of your previous patterns. Because you have to remember that the way you think and feel about things will govern your choices in all of your relationships. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. I'm going to get the Oracle Ancestral Message. Put off the back end, darling dears just come through with the Saturn energy so it's about discipline darling dears I can accomplish what I set my mind to anything you focus on darling dears especially if you put the um, emotion behind it mm -hmm. okay if you want to find out what karma happens to someone when they cross you or do you do you dirty darling dears look in your look, in, look where Saturn is Okay, whatever planets in that house is the kind of karma they'll be dealing with. Okay, the base of the deck you have the eye of Saron on you, darling. There's lots of jealous people, these are jealous people that were you were emotionally involved with, darling. This could be sexually, could be a friendship, I don't know, siblings, whatever, darling. There's, there's a lot of jealous energy being directed to you at this moment in time. Maybe it's because you've decided not to visit Follyville again. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, perseverance, you'll definitely stick into something. Discipline, darling, because discipline will always win out. Setting yourself in routines. Yeah, making healthy choices. Okay. So you have the Eye of Saron on you. Let's get a deck and we're going to go with yellow cards. on you darling dears father god mother isis so you are being divinely guided darling dears many of the volunteers on this malkuth you can be recognized by the sign in your palms if you have m darling dears this means that you are you're like a hybrid you're able to manifest but you have to realize who you are before you can manifest and it also speaks about a lot of overcoming that you will have to do you'll be You'll be cast as the black sheep, darling dears, because you chose not to put up with what? Skullduggeration, darling dears, and moved away from that situation. Many of you are going to be identified by the M's in your hands. Definitely being guided. Yeah, motivated to get great. Again, it's the energy of overcoming something, darling dear. So it's the rebirth and rises, rise of you. As your big cat chronicles continues. Love it. Base of the deck. It's your fault why I slept with you with those people. So if you was in a relationship with them, darling dears, they're blaming it on you. Yeah, someone who had low self-esteem, darling dears. The only way they could get courage in your relationship was to cheat. Okay. saying i don't give a good golly or gosh about you darling dears you don't care where they've gone maybe back from whence they came yeah look a karmic lesson it was like a kick in the spiritual nutsack darling dears until you found out who you were you felt duped hoodwinked tricked bamboozled mm -hmm, and fooled yeah this is you deciding to take a different journey darling dears we all have choice we all have choice, but some people feel that they don't have a choice. You have a choice in every situation. You do. Every situation, you have a choice. Remember, you have one life to live on this Malkuth. And as volunteers, some are recognized by the, um, the M's in their palms. Or you may have a cross in your palm. Okay, just there. That also identifies you, darling dears, as healers, helpers. Okay. Yeah, motivated to get great. So let's dive right in and find out exactly what's been going on. Let's get a deck I haven't used in a while. I'm going to go with this one. Base of the deck, we have the Hierophant energy, darling dears. So it tells me that you may have done some formal training. You could be a teacher. It tells me that you, you're very good at advice. You advise many people, okay? Mm -hmm. For others, as I said, you're going to be getting an invitation. It could, it's possibly going to be to a wedding or an engagement, okay? The higher font could also represent you meeting someone. Someone of a like mind, darling dear. Someone with a higher mind. You stand between the two pillars of wisdom, Boaz and Jashin, for completion and beginning again. This is about you being more patient with yourself, darling dears. Mm. Your values, your beliefs, you've learned to speak your truth, Ruth. The energy of the Hierophant is also representative of the second house in astrology, darling dears. So this is about um, your values, your resources, how you make your money. Okay. You're about to get some kind of a boost in your finance, especially if you are working for some form of government department. Some kind of past effort is about to pay off in your favor. Again, the eighth house. The eighth house, as I said, could be money from a legacy, a will, a retirement or coming out of retirement. 
it also speaks about you taking a level of formal training whether it's spiritual or religious and this training may not have been in an organization well, yeah you could have gone to an organization but a lot of the training i feel the feeling that i'm getting is that you did this by yourself you was being guided and part of you being guided darling dears was to get to the truth roof pinky's up Sometimes when you're, you are bogged down by a situation where you've been duped and hoodwinked, darling dears. Divine gives you messages. You, you will have dreams. You, your intuition will start standing up for itself, darling dears. And it will guide you to leave situations. Not looking back. Remember Lot's wife, Salt Bay. Proud of the achievements that you've made, darling dears. Okay. Mm. First card on the tablet, darling dears. The Wheel of Fortune. So fate, destiny and good luck is most definitely on the tableau. It speaks about the cycles of life that you've been dealing with. Mm hmm overcoming some kind of um, karmic relationship the wheel of fortune in the upright is um jupiter as well as fire energy jupiter is about your expansion okay you could have been involved with someone from a foreign land or you as a foreign person in their land it also speaks about um travel you're going to be traveling in in the not too distant future darling dears. there's a lot of good luck following you at this moment in time it's going to create a lot of opportunities for you the time is going to be in your favor. This is about you progressing. Yeah, definitely. Um, distant lands, darling dears. Something to do with foreign people, foreign lands. Maybe learning new cultures. You could be learning a new language. The energy of Jupiter is representative of Sagittarius energy. You may have learned um, astrology. Mm -hmm. But your worldview has definitely changed, darling dears. And it's as though... What you're overcoming, darling, is you've been through your solitary phase where you've learned so much about yourself again, hierophant energy, darling, is. But it's about you moving forward. You're coming out of this hermit phase. How are you? How 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 are you gonna roll? For some, this also means that I'm a new a new home, a new car, unexpected fortune coming towards you. But it's all wrapped up in a new beginning. A destined beginning. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords, this is clarity and truth, darling dears. You're telling the truth to self first and foremost. This is good justice for you. And it's also good karma for you, darling dears. Mm hmm This is about you feeling more confident, more stable. Some of you may even be going through something involving some kind of something legal, darling dear. Something to do with legal documents. It's about to go in your favor. The Ace of Swords. This is about you having faith the size of a mustard seed. But this is about you moving forward. As I said, clarity. Yeah, the truth. Telling the truth to yourself. It also speaks about you possibly meeting a partner of a similar intellect darling dears on the same level this is about you continuing to go forward keeping your dignity your integrity integrity darling dears your boundaries so you are someone who is going to be a lover of your honesty whether it's good or bad darling dears tell the big cat the truth give them the choice otherwise you'll be looking at their back for air mm -hmm. law 16 of the 48 laws of power yeah telling a lot of truth to yourself in a situation this is an 11 11 fade some kind of gateway or portals opening up for you again this speaks about celebrations it could be a marriage or an engagement. It could be you celebrating yourself. Wheel of Fortune also speaks about good luck. It could be the good luck of an inheritance. It could also represent a win on the lottery, darling dears. Mm -hmm. If you're going to gamble, only gamble what you can afford to lose. Okay. 
But this is you telling the truth to yourself in, in every situation, no longer wearing a blindfold. But it's about you moving forward with courage. Mm. More confidence, darling dears. This is a season where this justice is going to create a great freedom for yourself, but it's going to cause a lot of pain to others. Somebody may also be having an issue with their lower back. Mm -hmm. Because the justice scale is representative of the goddess of the goddess of truth, darling, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This is coming towards a new season, darling dears. You've been through many cycles, as I said. It's been rough. It's been ugly, but you've prevailed. Yeah, look, you get the death card for a new beginning under the wheel of fortune and the judgment. Someone would like to, re they always, they always want to come back, right? As ear hustlers, shepherds of the devil, darling dears. Mm -hmm. People always want to come back, especially you've got two eights on the tableau, darling dears. Lean in, bestie, lean in. It speaks about, this was definitely a karmic situation, darling dears. But it's about you not having regrets of the situation because it got you to be exactly where you need to be. The energy of the two eights on, on the tablet also speaks about someone being the, um, like the, um, what's that guy's name? The emperor, the emperor with the new clothes. Yeah, they thought they looked good till someone told them that he's walking around naked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, turning your back on a toxic situation and bought you a lot of betrayal. Lots of arguments, lots of second guessing. Lots of denying whom you truly are. Motivated to get great. So if it was someone that was cheating, darling dears, they're blaming you for it. They can put the blame on you if they want to, darling dears, especially if you're not there to answer for them, but... The truth is, you haven't got any time to waste on that. Let them make whatever they want to. You're going towards new one-to-one -to -one relationships. The justice card could also represent the signing of a contract. Wheel of Fortune it coming out of nowhere. Yeah, which is going to create a stable foundation for yourself. Looking back into the past, darling, dudes, you had to do a lot of assessment. Mm -hmm. You had to look back. And as you look back, you learn, you, you start to get an appreciation for yourself. You realized how much toxicity was existing in. And you had to make a decision. This is what put you on the path, darling. This is what gave you the faith, the size of a mustard seed. You see, darling, dear, you operate in two worlds, the 3D and the 5D. Yes, you have spiritual ranking. Yes, you do have assistance. But you had to break away from the folly that you was in. You had to do it. We've got eight cards on the table. Four, four a major arcana and four a minor arcana. So even though divine has gifted you, with a, you're still being given a choice. You are still being given a choice. But you also, you have the Ace of Swords. This is you applying the discernment to these situations. But definitely something pertaining to money being paid to you is on its way. Something coming to set in your foundation. And as I said, the energy of Saturn, it will take you into your old age. Blessing. Tell me something more about the Ace of Swords. Oh, it fell on the floor. It's on the floor. Oh, it's coming through the door, darling dears. I've got the Ace of Cups in the upright. This also reminds me of my multiple streams of income, darling dears. But it speaks of you telling the truth to yourself first and foremost. This is about you appreciating yourself again. 
Again, we've got the sacral chakra energy dial in this. You're gaining more confidence, your self-worth, your passion, following your creativity, whatever route it's taking you on. Yeah. Badass alchemist ways, darling, dears. It also speaks about short journeys that you're going to be taking. Something to do with your siblings, extended family members, cousins, people that purposely broke your heart. It was all fun and games while you was there participating in the wickedness. It was. Split the deck, darling, is until you learn to juggle. This is you balancing out your own finances. Telling the truth to yourself. New beginning, darling, is Light-minded soul coming towards you. Mm-hmm. New relationships, a new lover, ace of cups, new opportunities, opportunities for happiness. Why? Because you saw the cup you had as being what? Half full, darling, dears. And this was you seeking solitary, solitary energy, darling, dears, so that you could cleanse that cup of whatever was poured into you. Eighth house is life before birth, darling, dears. Don't think for one moment that you didn't have a choice or a hand in choosing the parents or parents that you had. You did. But you also have to relieve them of whatever you may have attached to them, darling, just because they dealt with you with the tools they had. You had to overcome many dark situations to get where you are right now. This new chapter, this rebirth, this second chance, which you wholeheartedly deserve. There was power, there was always a power struggle around you, darling dears, but you learn to balance out your finances. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on in the background, but you're not allowing outside. Look what fell into my lap, the tower. And another one on the floor. If it's on the floor, it's coming through the door. Can I get it? Got it. Yeah, situations that you walked away from, darling, there's tower moments. Someone is going for a tower moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uranus, Uranus energy, the unpredictability of it all, darling, there's some are having tower moments because of what you are achieving in your life. You hold on to your, your ace of wands, your intentions. You set a new path for yourself, darling, there's, and this is what is bringing the victories to you. This could also represent my my engagement card. Mm -hmm. This is about the progress, the confidence that you're gaining as you continue to what? Remember whom you are. And as a volunteer, darling, is you must have some kind of service to others. Yeah. To bring balance back to this Malkuth, darling, is be in service to others. Yeah. Moving away from trauma and drama where there was always catastrophes, tower moments, arguments, lots of arm, um, back front neck tabbing, talking behind your back, darling dears. Yes, of course they want to say sorry. This could also represent your progeny. Mm -hmm. If you have a progeny, um, we've got a hangman, we've got, sorry, we've got the justice card here, the tower moment. You've got a progeny that's recently left the job, darling dears. She didn't get the training that she or he didn't get the training that they wanted there. But it was enough to them, for them to go to another job. This is the offer of another job. Your progeny got a new job recently. Walking into a new job. Yeah, high priestess. You knew this would happen. As I told you, you are tapped in, tuned in. You know what's going on. Clarify the four of wands. Hard working, darling, is success. It also speaks about some kind of award or accolade coming towards you, moon energy. There's always going to be jealousy being directed at you, darling, dears, whether they know you or not. Why? Because you're different. You're unique, darling, dears. Yeah, and you will always create new opportunities for yourself. You may have two progenies involved in a situation. Around this uh, second progeny, there's a lot of shady people, frenemies, pretending to be their friend. Okay. 
they're going to have to learn to walk away from certain situations love themselves first you also have good news coming towards you this is representative of a third progeny darling dears what about the third progeny i'll tell you what about the good news in a moment what about this third progeny fell into my hand okay something to do with their health they're having a health issue also speaks about money why aren't you giving them any money okay the third progeny is being taught a hard lesson darling dears about money earning money yes <laughs> yeah they're trying to teach the third progeny, progeny something about money about the earning of money um the, the pentacles could represent keeping your house clean the room clean mm-hmm yeah 100 percent, darling dears yeah, this ain't the time to go back to folly no ain't nobody got time for that come through sweet brown posh clap somebody's coming through with the bearing of bad news pentacle is in the reverse could be someone asking for a loan it could have something to do with their health this person is extremely um weak set in their ways immature Two pages coming out together, darling, as if this is not your progeny. Immature, the original bad boy, bad girl, bad news bear. Yeah. You're no longer inspired by this situation. Yeah, the block game is for the gods. This is about protecting your all of your health, darling, is mental, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. They're blocked off. about you going forward and taking care of yourself high priestess going within for all of your actions darling dear something quickly is coming into your life knight of wands what's coming in quickly this could represent an emperor or empress darling dear but it also speaks about um nurturing or wanting to be nurtured but this also speaks about your boundaries darling dears something coming through very quickly but it's about Whatever it is, whoever's coming, they're going to respect your boundaries. They have to. High Priestess tells me that you are highly intuitive, darling dears. Whatever your mind is telling you, know it to be true, darling dears. Especially if it's that quiet voice that comes out of nowhere. That's not hypercritical, none of that. Yeah, somebody's coming through is going to be extremely patient with you. Bringing a new level to your life. Wheel of Fortune, they're going to take this chance. It also speaks about travel, maybe traveling with them, or you'll meet them on your travels. But it's definitely something that you've invested time into. Yeah, you are very strong. Again, it's a reminder to avoid all forms of negativity. You also have what? The Death card again, again, the energy of an eight. Good golly and gosh, darling dears. going through whatever test this was and the test was what not to be a dog that goes back to vomit blood to stay away from vomit stay away from unnecessary people that is blocking your blessings the ones that treated you like the black sheep before you knew what it was stay away there's many ways that you can give back, but going back to situations that never had the strength to heal you, darling dears, they only hurt you. Why would you want to do that? Continue to be strong and avoid any form of drama. You be your own hero. It's about you not showing weakness. This is, this is going to show your mental growth. Silence, listen, silence is a whole answer. Not because you're trying to see how 
your your loss of energy is affecting they, them and um. But because you're protecting your own mental health. You're definitely going to be going on a short trip. Someone is also waiting on the right partner, friendship to come into their life. You would rather be single and independent like the boys or girls on the pole, darling dears. Listening to your higher mind, going within high priestess energy. You also have someone coming in. The page is about being curious or you could be curious. You could be going towards higher studies. We already saw the Hierophant energy tower moment. You're going to take this chance. Somebody's going to be going into some form of higher learning, darling dears. It's going to be extremely beneficial to you. Maybe this is where you'll meet the King of Cups. This is a sweetie. This is someone who is respectful, darling dear, slow to speak, quick to listen. Somebody who's empathic and as spiritual as you. So a like-minded soul coming into your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to be celebrating with this person. Yeah. There's no need to be on what eggshells, darling dear, is looking out for bad things, right? They're not coming with any bad things. They're not. It's something that you're going to work on together. You're getting great, darling dears, but that process started with you when you got fed up of being hoodwinked, duped and bamboozled. You will, you've persevered in something, darling dears, and you're coming to a season where you can rest and it doesn't mean that you're going to be laying down. Rest as in have a vacation. Rest as in what? Take the time to look back and see how much you've achieved. See how far you've come without any of those energies in your life. Realizing that this is not the season where the big cat becomes the fool that loves vomit. Yeah, look, 11 11 fade. A gateway or portal is being opened just for you, darling dears. Changes in your subconscious mind. It also speaks about the manifestation of it all. Whoever this person or people was in the past, they are no longer affecting your hippocampus, your amygdala, or your prefrontal cortex. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a good thing. As you put down that burden. Love it. I don't hate it. Let's get one final card. We're going to go over the Kipper deck. And then we're off to get great. courtship somebody's definitely going into a new relationship you're sitting in front of an archway archways always mean new beginnings new portals new gateways opening up for you the energy of the four tells me you are in manifestation mode darling dears creating new structures um forming a new line of stability for yourself mm -hmm. never you forget darling dears you are the builder the builder of security of the security that that you're providing for yourself you are that builder Remember what you bring to the table, not what someone else is bringing to offer you. Anything they come with can be an added on to what you already have. Fill up your own cup going forward, bestie. Mm -hmm. You are that builder. It also speaks about your home, your finances, your physical body. Um, the things that you're going to be invested in, investing in is something to do with some kind of a business, some kind of real estate, but this is prosperity, darling dears. The stability that you've been looking for, you had to leave a situation in order for it to be well built. And for some, the emperor or empress is on her way. Never you forget that you are he or she to whom the sun rises. And this is not the season for the big cat. Why? Because you don't eat vomit. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Remember, big cat, don't get smoked or smoke yourself. Big cat, wave until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat. <laughs>